the adventures of Koholint Island begin. Join me as I play Link's Awakening, my second Zelda game ever. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Here we go. This looks like what's on the key. Take this and unlock for me the magic that lies in store. Now this, I think is going to be our first actual dungeon of the game. So, because it... Da -da 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 -ding. Ooh, that's a pretty cool uh, sound effect for that. That always, that, that dungeon-y sound, that unlocking something sound. That's a very cool sound effect there. All right, cool. Level one, tail cave. So we can uh, basically, in Zelda, it the uh, dungeons are like a grid. So there's like one block uh, here, and then the one next to it is the next block. So we have to basically fight our way through uh, seemingly all the blocks here and solve the puzzles within each of the dungeons. And it's still really cool. Uh, within uh, the game, there's actually a dungeon builder. So for apparently every room that you defeat, is uh, another uh, dungeon part that you can uh, use. So that's pretty cool. And I'll take whatever this is. It's a compass. Cool. Now you can see where the chests and nightmares are hidden. Nice. The compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is nearby. Well, that is definitely helpful. I don't know how you could go through the entire game not having that, but there you go. I'm assuming you could miss objects like that, but, you know, might as well explore all the rooms as much as I can here. So there is something in here. So that's good to know as well. Uh, so also, if you're looking for differences between uh, this game and the original, uh, unfortunately, I have absolutely no idea what the original was like at all. Uh, I know it was in 2D, kind of similar to this, but it was a lot more pixelated, because obviously, like, back in the day, uh, 1993, that's going to happen. Uh, these are Skelebros. Uh, can I actually defeat them? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. That is a Guardian Acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. And that's another power thing there, too. Sweet. So I'm just all stacked up on power here. So do they stack together? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. So it's either one or the other. Ooh, and I have a map. Cool. So is that a map of this dungeon? Yes, it is. Cool. So we can see we can go to the left, uh, up to the left and all through this way, too. There's probably a hidden way to get through here at some point. Usually it involves like a bomb or something. You bomb a specific wall and you get through here. Um, but yeah, cool. So what we can do is... Uh, oh, it shows you where the treasure is too. Nice. So uh, I'll try to explore as many of the rooms as possible. Uh, if they are beneficial in some way. And, uh, you know, if it's on our way to do stuff. If it's just a bunch of rooms, you know then I'll, I'm going to try to just do it as quickly as I can here, but they're running from me, so that was tough to actually do. But hey, at least we have the map, so that's good. You're a caterpillar. Hi, caterpillar. Bye, caterpillar. And that looks like a saw blade. Oh, that's a saw blade of death. Okay, cool. Don't want to mess with him. That's for sure. All right, and get over here. Come on, get, get, get. There we go. Cool. Ooh, and it seems like he kind of follows me. Interesting. All right, so let me go over here. Grab. Ooh, two chests. Nice. So I'll grab this. Oh, there's one. Da -da -ding. I'll grab you first. And don't hit me, please. I have so many keys. I have all the keys, actually. Well, not all the keys. Most of the keys, I should say. It seems like at least. There's some rupees. You got 20 rupees. Joy. Now, what can I use them for that isn't integral to the story? I have no idea. So we'll, we'll figure everything out, obviously, as time goes on here. So, uh... Skelebro, get out of here. Get, get, get. Are you jumping over my sword attack? Really? That's nice. Okay. So there's one key used up right there. Um, I don't, I'm assuming there are the appropriate amount of keys for uh, what we need to accomplish in the dungeon. So I'm going to go head up toward the top and use one up there. You know, they're not going to give you uh, not enough keys for the dungeon. They're going to give you the appropriate amount, right? That, that wouldn't make any sense if they didn't. So, let's see what this is all about here. I'll avoid these fire things for sure. No, get off of me. Get off. Oh, they just limit my mobility. They don't actually hurt me at all, so that's good. And I guess I'll use another key over here. No, I don't. Okay. Hi, owl. Um, the beakless statue is saying something. You can't make it out. Okay, so I don't understand beakless owl. Uh, sure. Oh, I need a beak. Uh, okay. 
because he's beakless and owls should not be beakless. So uh, I will find the beak and come back here at some point. So I'll make my way back toward the lower section and figure it out from there. Okay, that kind of hurt. Let's uh, do this. There's nothing special up here for right now, at least. Uh, this is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. All right, I'll go, I guess, back down toward this way. You know, I, I don't know. Like, it's a, I know this game is fairly lengthy, you know, if you make it out to be. Um, it can be very, like, there's lots of secrets and stuff to explore as well, and I'm about to die. So that's not good. Oh! Wait, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna try to mark off all of them as, as the same, right? There we go. Did I do a thing? I'm assuming I did a thing. I would have taken hearts, though. A heart would have been nice. Oh, a beak! Now you find an owl statue to fit into. So I could go back to the other statue, but there's also one right here. So turn aside the spined ones with a shield. What? Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. The spined ones? Who are the spined ones? What does that mean? Can I go down here? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to die, so I need to not have that happen. Right? Nah, that did happen. Okay, great. What do you have to say? If there is a door that you can't open, move a square block. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Sure. Oh, turn over the spiny ones with a shield. Ah, there we go. That's what I need to do. Fall into the hole. There you go. That worked out very nicely. Ooh, it's stairs. Cool. What do you have? Turn aside the spine ones with a shield. Yeah, okay, cool. So now that we have the beak, it seems like we can input it anywhere. Oh, those are Goomba. That's cool. And I got hit by one instantly. Awesome. Oh, this is a thing. Link can't jump. He can't jump in this game. There's no jump button. You know, in, in case you didn't know that, that is actually the main reason why I never got into Zelda way in the first place was because on the Nintendo 64... Mario could jump and move around and do whatever he needed to do, whereas Link, he could not do that. How do I get that? Sir? Sir? Magic. No, magic doesn't work. Okay, cool. Gonna just dodge that real quick and get this. That should be everything I need. I have a feather. Rock's feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. Cool. Well, I don't know what that uh, is for, but I know that I can go... Can I jump now? Magic, no. Okay. Uh, oh. X. X. I can jump now. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Nice. That is so freeing. It feels so good, and I'm facing the wall, technically. Nice. Oh, man. That feels so good. That is, Yeah, that's why I never got into Zelda, because I could always jump around with Mario, but I thought it was dumb that you couldn't jump around with, uh, with Link. So now I can just jump around all everything. And it, it feels... Oh, it feels good. It feels real good, man. All right. Let's get out of this dungeon. We're going to get back to uh, where we were before. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of uh, small edits here to make things be a little bit quicker overall. But, uh, you know, we made it out of here in a timely manner anyway. So now, any of those uh, blocks that have a one jump, you know, restriction or one, uh, you know, block gap. This stuff right here. Yeah, now we can just jump all over it. That's perfect. So now I'm not going to use magic as often because I'm assuming that's a finite resource. So I don't want to uh, don't want to mess with that at all. Now I can just jump over here, so that's good. Um, I needed to go south, right? I think that's my next location. So I'll try going south this way here. And I'm assuming there's other uh, locations I can go to eventually that I can't right now because, well, I don't have the proper items and whatnot to do so. But that's just merely a guess, and I still don't know what you are, and I want to destroy you. There we go. I'll take that heart. I'll destroy you, too. There we go. That's a rupee. Nice. Oh, you're a monkey. Ookie key. Ookie key. Oh, you're going to try to destroy me. Okay, cool. Uh, let's not have that. What's inside house number one? It is a alligator. Hi, alligator. Sail. Sale. 
Welcome to Saleh's House of Bananas. I'm Saleh. This is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. Well, if I find any uh, canned food, I will be sure to donate that to the food pantry. But otherwise, I'm going to move on and jump all around because it feels just that good. Oh, yeah. I don't know why it feels so satisfying. It just does, you know. And I guess I can't jump over this log right here, so whatever. But this is the extent of uh, where I can go, at least down on the shore here. So where am I technically? All right. Ooh, so much has been unlocked down here. All right. So almost half the map. Or this is like um, two-fifths of the map, maybe. Yeah, about two-fifths. All right. So the witch's hut is up here. We kind of went up here before. Um, where did he say to go? I thought it was south. I thought it was this way, right? But I clearly can't make my way anywhere more down this way. So, uh, unless I can push these rocks, which I totally can't. Can't lift that up. Yep. All right. Cool. Dark secrets and mysteries of Colo Lint. Okay. What's this? You can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying lens, but where would you get one of those? Maybe if you lend some people a hand, they'll lend you a lens. Interesting. Oh, and there's a book up there, too. So this is apparently a pretty cool little area here. This is a claw machine. Or trendy game, I should say. Trendy game. One play, ten rupees. Well, as much as I... I'm not good at claw machines because they're all rigged. I'll uh, do my best. I could go for a uh, a shield. I could go for another magic bag of goodies. Oh, they uh, they they do what? Okay, so now I have to move it this way. Gotcha. So that's exactly how claw machines work in real life. You can only move it one way, and then another, and then I thought that might have got it. Um. And you can't go back and adjust it. That's how some of them are. So that was very not fair. But I'll try again. All right. So move up this way. Really? I only have one chance to actually get it, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Usually I can adjust it a little more and then go over to the right. But clearly not. So I wasted 30 rupees there. But whatever. Sure. Oh, or I wasted 20, I should say. So I will challenge again. Good luck. And, yep, that's too much. But, all right, I think that's enough. That might be it, actually. Maybe. Please work. Grab his nose. Maybe. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Ooh, ooh, yep, there it is. Got the Yoshi doll there, so that's good. I want that little heart container, too, actually. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go for this again here, shall we? Do that. That's a little bit too much. That's not it at all. No. No. Claw didn't even get to it. Oh, but it got one arm. So it impacted it a little bit. At least it read where it was. So I don't know if there's any other way to... Uh, or any other items that appear here eventually. Maybe there are, maybe there aren't. But, uh, okay. Maybe that'll work. That might be it. Maybe. I don't know. Uh... That might work. Yeah, we got it. Cool. Mm. Oh, it nearly slipped out there, but nope, we're good. We're totally good. Nice. Sweet. I'm not going to go for the other things for now. Uh, I will not. I'm good. I, I will not have that happen. So there, I got one little uh, heart container. Or a piece of a heart, I should say. Uh, not a full heart container, but yeah. Now I got a Yoshi doll. Uh, you can count how many games you've seen him in now. Uh, you can't count how many games you've seen him in now. Yeah, it's been definitely a ton since he was last in there. You want the Yoshi doll? We've been trying to do that forever. Our mom is really desperate to have one. Well, I don't want it. I got way too much stuff. Uh, she's probably back at our house, the one up north with two doors. Oh, okay. So that's that uh, hotel-looking place. I gotcha. Hello? Why are you going to attack me? Please don't do that, okay? Just trying to be... Nice and deliver this very nice Yoshi doll to this lovely woman over here. Uh, hey. Oh, will you give me that Yoshi doll to my baby? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, you are indeed a generous person. I will give you this in return. It's a bow tie or a ribbon. Uh, maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. Uh, do you want a ribbon? Uh, who wants a ribbon? 
Maybe someone down toward the south? And maybe this is what I need to get the magnifying glass? I don't really know. Hey, do you want a bow? Um, Terrence taking a nap at home. I don't know how we can sleep on such a nice day. Um, you got the song of the windfish? Interesting. Here sleeps the, f the, the flying rooster. Flying rooster, hello. My name is Brian. Stop it. What about in here? Hello, little puppy. Makeup jewel. How can you possibly talk? That ribbon I need it. Will you trade for my dog food? Yeah, I will. Oh, you got a little cute little bow. Yes, you do. And I know where to take that canned food down to that alligator down in the south. So maybe he can give me my magnifying glass. Oh, I have some dog food for you, Mr. Alligator Crocodile Bloom thing. What's that you have? Canned food? For heaven's sake, give that to me, please. I'm going to lose it if I can't get it. Well, there you go. You can eat that as much as you want to, man. Uh, what are you going to give me in return? You ate the whole can? That's like eating a whole can of tuna. I can feel the m metal hitting my teeth right now. That's disgusting. Oh, that was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Oh, who wanted bananas? Oh, somebody wanted bananas. That that where the monkey was before? Yeah, that that thing. Yeah, he wanted bananas, so I'll give him the bananas. Why are there so many missions? There's so many like weird little like give this person bananas, give the to do that, and do this thing. All right. Oh, that's a thing. Okay. I didn't know I could do that. Is this where I need to go up here? Can I unlock this? I can. So, this is what I mean. There's, like, other stuff to, like, do and... Okay, so that's a nightmare key. The nightmare key allows me to go into the nightmare's lair. So, I didn't technically finish this dungeon. And then I, I tried to do a side quest, technically. I, I think that's what I was doing. And I just forgot all about the dungeon. So, I guess my mind just doesn't work that way where, like, I remember, like, okay, oh, I have to go back and do this whole entire dungeon all over again, pretty much. Like, I don't know. Like, we'll see. So, now at least I can skip over there, and that looks like a boss. You look disgusting, actually. You look awful. All right, well, I mean, now I can jump, so that's good. Um, that kind of protects me a little bit here. And try to do that. There we go. Nice. Just gonna keep on swiping here. As if it were an online dating app. Swipe it, swipe, swipe, swipe. And is that it? That's it? Okay, cool. Well, that's a little golden... What does the golden thing do? What does that do? Does that tell... That teleports me? To the beginning of the... Thing? Okay. But at least I can teleport back. That's good. I don't know what that golden thing was, but... I don't know if I needed it or... I, I don't know. So, uh, let's go downstairs first. I'm assuming the nightmare key goes there. But you never know what's actually down here. Oh, just three regenerative hearts. Sure. The jumping mechanics viewed from the side, it looks like he, like... I don't know. He, it's got a little bit more bounce to it, it seems like. It's kind of odd, peculiar here. Oh, oh, I nearly dodged it there, but not really. All right, there we go. What's this? Oh, that's a boss. Biz, 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 outsider. Okay. Hey, man, Moldorm is the boss of the dungeon, it seems. Oh, yeah? Well, that looks like a weak spot right there. That's for sure. And, oh, yeah. Come on. All right, so the bulb is protected there. I can't actually destroy it. Now I can. There we go. Is it one, two, three times a charm, perhaps? As it were in other games of a similar development cycle no okay so now he's aggro now he's actually mad now he is not happy and i'm dead so i was just being very uh careless there oops well that's a game over screen so i'll actually show it there so i will uh retry that and uh yeah and that's it it was literally one more shot and i kept dying or i fell down once and it actually leads to that stairs part we were at before where you get the hearts so that is a heart container that is an actual heart container so now we get a full other heart here and it increased now does it actually heal us here too yes it does good so i don't know how many hearts are maximum in the game and that's a violin right 
Looks like a violin. I got the full, a cello. Oh, that goes to show how uncultured I am. I have the full moon cello. Well, that's good. Sweet. I can play the song of my people. Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Get in my, get in my, how you can be in my poker face. Why is it a Western rendition? Who knows? And the screen is white. Swamp. How enlightening. A path opens in the blooms. A path. Okay, I thought it said something different. Okay. Well, uh, the swamp is where we're going next, so I'm going to end this off here. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name has been Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien. I'll see you again for more Link's Awakening very soon, and uh, yeah, peace out. Bye.